All right, you've seen it on labels, one size fits all, maybe you even own something that's supposed to fit everybody. Well, we're putting it to the test because I don't know if I buy it. <laughs> Elizabeth and Emily Kennedy are back to join us and talk about this emerging trend. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you, you for so having much. us. Why yeah. do you think this is so popular now? Have you it's, noticed it's it, everywhere? It really, it's everywhere. It's becoming more and more common and it's not just, you know, accessories anymore. It's foundation pieces like yeah. tops and dresses and bottoms, skirts, things like that. And you know and that it's not. There's no way. Well, I mean, we are all different shapes and sizes, uh -huh. but we're going to show you how to kind of improvise. And we have a dress here today, but you can wear it different ways based on your body type. And it can be done. Is that what it comes down yeah. to, body type? It I really think it does. does. But it also yeah. depends what piece you're going for. I mean, if you try to wear a one size fits all pant, that's probably not. Yeah, I work. wouldn't go for like a crop top mm -hmm. or anything too fitted. Go for something flowy, a little oversized, because it's easier to work with more fabric than less fabric. Like a maxi dress or something. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so we have some examples. Yes. yes. So our first model is Gina, and she's actually our petite model. Um, she is wearing this as a dress. This is a dress, so because of her petite frame, she can wear it as a dress. Mm -hmm. And um, we put her in some ankle boots, and she could even wear this with um, more of a heel because of her height. Okay, turn around, Gina. I want to see the back. <laughs> but I love this flowy fit on her. She's not swimming in it. It fits her perfectly, and that oversized um, silhouette is okay. really big for spring and summer. That boho look is really big. So she can definitely wear this, you know, into the coming months. And I love that statement necklace to kind of, you know, add some color, add a little something to okay. the solid look. Thank you. Yeah. So is, if you're petite, then you want to just be careful about not swimming in it? Yes. And mm -hmm. you know what? You can always take it to a tailor and, okay. you know, get it taken up or taken in a little mm -hmm. bit. So like I said, it's always Belted easier something. to work yes. with more fabric. Yeah. Okay. All right, who's next? Okay, next we have Taylor, and she has a more of an hourglass figure, and so we put her in um, this top as more like a tunic. And so okay. it's long enough that she can wear it with leggings, um, which is sh she's wearing right now, and then... Um, That's cute. Yeah, is that not adorable? And then we put her in some heels to add a little bit of height. Uh, but this is, I mean, this is perfect for her. You could even belt this, and that would look really cute. And yeah, so with her figure, you want to accentuate the waist, so uh, that would be really cute with a, a belt. Um, and you can even accessorize with a statement necklace or scarves. But it's the perfect length for her, and it just it goes great with the leggings. Do you like it? Yeah? <laughs> Feels good? Okay. Okay, yes. so, so what's our next body okay, type? Okay, next we have tall. So we have Michaela, and she's very tall and very thin. And so this is more like a shirt, really, because she's got the height. And so it's not going to be long enough for leggings, but we have her in skinny jeans. And so wh okay. what you can do with this is layer. We layered on with this really cute vest. But since she's taller, it's going to be a little bit shorter. So she's not going to be able to wear it as a dress. So we, we did it more of like a shirt um, with skinny jeans and then some ankle boots. Will you turn around one more time so we can see the vest? And the yeah. Fit? Okay. Yeah, and so I love that. it just looks like a long length. shirt. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, girls, yeah. will you walk on with her so we can see all three of you? So they're all wearing the same one size yes. fits all. Yeah, so this really Dress works. slash yes. tunic slash shirt. Yeah, so if you're going to go for something like this, try a top or a tunic. Yeah, and like I said, you can always improvise with more fabric. So really, for the one size fits all pieces, go for those like flowier silhouettes. Stay away from the tighter fitting Yeah, because that most likely won't fit everybody. Type. Right. Okay, any other advice? Just feel comfortable. Yeah. It's important that you feel comfortable and confident in what you're wearing. So okay. like a dress like this is more likely to fit more body types right. than something that's a little more constrained. Um, but really, it's all about how you feel in it. And, yeah, if it doesn't make you feel good, don't. Because exactly. you won't wear it once it's in your closet. Exactly. Thanks, girls. You look great. <laughs> Emily and Elizabeth always have great ideas.